all good morning it is about 9 15 i am headed shopping hence why you are set up in my car so a couple of people on my tj maxx video mentioned that their go-to for that type of store is marshall's they said that their marshall's actually has a bigger plus size selection or section than their TJ Maxx does. We know that TJ Maxx, I did a $100 series. I'll link it down below. They didn't really have that much stuff. They had one rack, but I did find some really cute stuff. So it's been a while since I've been to a Marshalls. I mean, I can't remember the last time I went. That's how long it's been. So years, I'm gonna venture out and say it's been years since I've been to a Marshalls. Um, it's also a little bit far from where I live, so we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure today. Um, they open at 9.30. My plan was to be there at 9.30. We're gonna be a few minutes late. I'm also trying to venture out and wear different things in my closet. So this past weekend, Brian and I celebrated our second wedding anniversary, and I made it a point to wear things that I'd never worn before. So I wore that Amazon swimsuit that I got in my prime haul. I wore the black jumpsuit that I got in a Stitch Fix box. And then I wore a black and white kimono that I got, I'm pretty sure, in Trunk Club. Yes, so that's what I wore down there to the pool. And then for dinner, I wore a black, like, floral kind of um, city chic dress that I'd gotten in trunk club and then a pair of cute little black chunky heels that I got from Kato. So all of those or those two outfits I guess including the swimsuits or three were new things that I had never worn before. I have so much cute stuff in there and I don't wear the like newer cute things to work because I don't want to ruin them. So I just got a phone call so we're back. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm trying to just venture out and wear things that I haven't worn in a while or that are brand new. So today I am wearing this Forever 21 like kimono style top. It's bright, it's blue, it's yellow. No, it's not, it's green. It's bright colors, it's just very summery. I've had this for years. I couldn't tell you when I bought it. I know it's Forever 21 and that's about it. And then I'm wearing a pair of Rebel Wilson denim shorts. I think I got these in a box. It could have been DN Co or Stitch Fix, but I love them. They're not too short, they're not too long. They don't cuff at the bottom, so I don't feel like the cuff's gonna come unrolled as I walk or whatever. And then I'm just wearing a pair of Kato sandals. The shorts and the sandals, I wear all the time, but the top, I haven't worn in a very long time. Hey, can I get a small ice caramel macchiato, please? Small ice caramel macchiato? Yes. What else for you today? That's it. Maybe four or six to window. Thanks. This is the same Duncan that Brian and I came to when we did our drive through challenge. If you hadn't watched that video yet, you should go watch it because we had a good time. We did Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast. We did McDonald's for lunch, and then we did this local regional um, type restaurant for dinner. It's like a chicken finger, it's called Fusackley's. If you live anywhere around Mobile, then you know what it is, and it's amazing, and I talk about it all the time. So that's what we did for dinner. We had a good time, but there's quite a few cars in front of me. And then we're headed to Marshall's. Look how cute. For those of y'all that have been following me for a while, I think I've mentioned I think I mentioned that my schedule would be changing so that Brian and I could have more days together and it did change. I'm so excited. So it's almost like I I look forward to my off days now, whereas before, I mean, I was happy to be off work for a couple days, you know, like to rest and do whatever I wanted to do, but I didn't have anybody to hang out with. You know, everybody works and then Brian works and so it's just, it's nice. So we are off Sundays and Mondays together so I actually have this like, I don't know, I get a little bit excited for my off days now to see what we're gonna do or, you know, just hang out and it's nice. All right, so I'm gonna quit rambling. We're gonna flip this camera around, drive to Marshall's, and then we're gonna go in and go shopping. y'all I got high hopes so I was on the phone with my mom on the way in 
and she said that she loves Marshalls. How funny. I guess we just don't talk about it. We haven't been here in so long. So we're gonna be smart and grab a buggy because we'll most likely buy something. Oh, they have like home goods stuff too, I forgot. Oh man, this could be dangerous. So I've spotted the Women's Plus sign. So that means that all of this stuff is plus. I wonder if this is too. No, that's clearance, regular. So they have these two racks. But I, it's a little bit more than TJ Maxx. Y'all, it's the t-shirt version of that dress that I got at TJ Maxx. How cute, it's the exact same brand too. Should I try this on? How funny is that? I'm gonna try it on. Okay, am I missing out on something? <laughs> because this is a Lane Bryant skirt in a size 1820, brand new, $9.99. It's double lined. And then this is White House Black Market in a size 22, $6 on sale. It's this like silky sleeveless top. I did not know they carried these brands. I know a White House Black Market. Yeah, these are pricey, like in their actual stores. So this is the top, just like that dress that I got at TJ Maxx. This is a little bit snug. It's a size smaller than the dress, but it's cute. It's a little bit thick for me for summertime, but I do really like the like frayed edge detail, the stripes. It's cute, it's just a little bit, like I said, a little bit snug. But I do have this one, which is the same brand, and it's got these like ruffle sleeves. So we'll put that one on. So even though this one is the same size and brand as this one, it fits a little bit better. I love these sleeves. I think this could be really cute for work. It is a little bit thick, but that's okay. I mean, it's cute though. Yeah, this is cute. This is in this is in a size 2X. I believe it's $19.99. I'll find that price tag. Yeah, $19.99. So this could be one. This one is so soft. I love this little detail on the sleeve. Also the knot in the front. You can unknot it if you didn't want it knotted in the front. This one is in a size 2X and it doesn't look snug, but I feel like it's just a little bit snug. I looked for it in a size larger, but couldn't find it. But this is cute. I wonder what it looks like untied. I like the knot though. That's probably why I pulled it. I love the color. The fabric is soft, like I mentioned. So I do like this one. This one I thought would be cute for work. It looked a little bit see-through on the hanger, but I don't think it's a see-through in person. This, however, kind of puckers out a little bit too much for me. I guess you could always wear a tank top or a cami underneath, but if I don't have to, I, I would prefer to not do that. I like the little ruffle sleeves. The pattern is cute. It's very summery. I don't know, this one is a maybe. It's not bad. It's okay. So this is that White House Black Market sleeveless top. It's soft, I love the color. It is a little bit big. Um, but it does have this like second layer underneath it, which I like. Um, I feel like it would kind of hold back some of your sweat a little bit because this like silky material is not touching your skin. So that could be nice. Um, for six bucks, I almost feel like I should buy it because it's only six dollars. And then when I need something like this to layer, it would be nice, but I don't know. It is a little bit big but it feels good. This is the $9.99 Lane Bryant skirt. I love the colors, but listen, the style's probably not for me. It does have pockets. It is like double lined. You can see right there, which is really nice. Um, it's a really cute summer skirt. It's just, I don't know, this style's just not very flattering on me. I feel like it doesn't really do anything for me, but I had no idea they sold Lane Bryant and White House Black Market. So, for 10 bucks though, I wonder how much this is in store. Does it say? Nope. 
This is probably a $60 or $70 skirt in store. Do y'all remember those per se linen pants I got in a Stitch Fix box? They were too small. Found them at TJ Maxx. They were still too small. Well, I found the size I need at Marshalls. Granted, it's not the same pattern, but these feel so nice. They're a little bit big. You can see like the elastic right there, but I would rather them be loose than tight. These are $16.99. Regular price, $49. And they're like little cropped linen pants. I may get these. So my only dilemma with pants like this, what top do you wear? So I grabbed this one. This is also a linen top to see. It's see-through. I don't know, is this what you're supposed to wear? I like this top though, it is see-through, but it's this cute like flutter sleeve, with a little bit of a tassel detail. I don't know, if it weren't so see-through, I would probably like it a little bit more. How cute is this one? This feels so good. It's a little bit big, but I would prefer it a little big. I actually had this in a size smaller and switched it out for a size bigger because I wanted it a little bit oversized. The knot in the front is a little bit high, but if you wore it with some high-waisted shorts or jeans, I think it would be fine. This is so cute. This feels so good, and I think that the vertical stripes are very flattering. With the pants, probably not. <laughs> but I like it with denim. So I thought this one could be cute too, with um, some denim or some shorts or something. It's just a linen yellow and white striped top. It doesn't unbutton all the way down. Um, I like how the stripes go different directions in the back and the front, but I don't know if I like this like three quarter length sleeve. Y'all know me, y'all know I don't like to have to deal with that. So this is cute, but I don't know. Do y'all remember the blue dress that I got from TJ Maxx? It's the same brand, this is just a different color. That blue one was a little bit big, so I found this one in a size smaller here, but I think I actually prefer the bigger one that I got from TJ Maxx. This one, it's a little bit shorter, it's a little bit snugger. I like the color, so if I wanted it, I could go grab it in a size larger, but it's the same price here, $24.99 as at TJ Maxx but I prefer the blue one and the size bigger. I mean, while we're here, we might as well check out the shoe clearance. What do we think of these? I would break my neck. Um, these are kind of cute. These are Michael Kors little gold heels. I like these, but I've got a similar pair coming in trunk club, so I'm gonna hold off. Ooh, those are cute. That's not my size. I need to I need to find my correct size. No shoes. I didn't see any that I liked enough in my size. So we didn't do shoes, but I did make two purchases. Well, one purchase, two things, you know what I'm saying? I spent a total of $40.68. So I got this top. I loved it. It fit perfect. It's so like breezy and just comfortable. This is the brand Beach Lunch Lounge Collection in a size 3X. $19.99 is what I paid for it. I wonder if they have a regular price. Okay, so it says compare at 28 bucks. So not much of a discount, but any discount is a discount in my opinion. I think this is gonna be so cute for summer and it's just so soft. So yes, that was a win. And then I couldn't pass up on these linen per se cropped pants. So I mentioned in the dressing room that I had gotten a pair in Stitch Fix that were a 1X and they were too small so I sent them back. And then I spotted the exact same pair at TJ Maxx in my $100 series and in a 2X and they were still a little bit snug. So when I saw these at Marshalls, I had to try them on. These are in a size 3X. They're a little bit big around the waist like you could see in the back, but I would rather them be big than tight because I can always tighten the waistband. They're elastic with the string and everything, so I can tighten that part. So I paid $16.99 for these. Their regular price, $49, which I think is the price that was listed in the Stitch Fix box. And I think the $16.99 is the same price 
as the pair at TJ Maxx. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So I couldn't pass these up. I loved them in the box. I loved them at TJ Maxx. So yes, they're a different color, but they're blue and white pinstripe. So you know I'm into that. So 40 bucks, 41 bucks on average that I spent. Not bad uh, for two items. Okay, so let's talk about my experience. I haven't been to a Marshalls in years, as I mentioned. I'm impressed. I cannot believe that I found Lane, Bry Lane Bryant brand. I found two skirts. Um, I tried one on that you saw. And then White House Black Market. We have one of those in town and it's expensive, but they don't carry plus sizes in store. I didn't even know that they carried plus size at all. So I'm impressed that I found those two brands. I also did see a Lucky Brand top. I initially pulled it to try on, but it really wasn't my my style like the design on it I didn't really care for I had pulled it with the intention of just trying it on because it was lucky brand so I put it back um, but they had it in my size you know a couple size range that they had so I'm impressed I think Marshall's in my opinion granted they had about the same selection or the same size section of plus size as TJ Maxx but they had so much more stuff that I liked and that was my style so I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I prefer Marshalls to TJ Maxx now granted it is a little bit further from my house than TJ Maxx but not by much because they're kind of close in distance to each other um so I say I'll, I'll drive the extra mile maybe mile or two to come down here so i'm gonna go out on a limb and say i prefer marshall's yes i will say it and thank y'all to the ones that commented on that tj maxx video that i needed to check out marshall's because you were right all right that's a wrap on this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up be sure to hit the subscribe button and i will see y'all in my next one bye